So there's the second fish I've caught. This time I did use the stick floaters. They work. The fish had no issues with it. I'm going to do some kit reviews, some gear reviews, go on adventures, and level up my skills. Oh, got one. Look at that. Okay, today I'm going to be using my rodless reel, a quick buoy setup, circle hook, swivel, and lure. There's just no fish. The water's very clear. I can see clearly, I know, at least 20, 30 feet out, I can still see clearly the bottom. What I'm doing here is making a stick floater. It's just a twig I got off the ground and I'm tying it to the fishing line to use in place of a bobber or a regular floater. These work really well. I recommend trying one out. So there's the second fish I've caught. This time I did use the stick floaters. They work, the fish had no issues with it. So I had a treble hook, split shot, swivel, and a stick to help it float. Caught this guy. Okay, so tell me what you guys think. Comment below your favorite setup, the rodless reel, the stick floaters, the styrofoam floaters, plastic bobbers, whatever it is you like to use. Let me know, I wanna learn as much as I can. And yeah, it's nice to know that if you run out of floaters, just stick. I don't even need a split shot. The stick is enough of a weight, but just this. And I didn't even do a good job tying it. But point being is, that's all you need, and you can catch a fish. Fish on. Alrighty, stick floaters for the win. There we go. There you go, little guy. So, I'm so glad I'm getting bites now. It's to the point where I was about to walk in there and catch a fish by hand if I didn't get anything. There we go. What is this, number five, number six, I think five. Ooh, and it's a pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seeds are always beautiful. Oops. Oh, bye-bye. So that's the video for today. The Raleigh's Royal did really well. There weren't a lot of fish biting for a while, but we found a good spot. We caught like five fish. It did very well. So the stick floaters worked really well. I'm gonna start selling them. $9.99.95. Shipping and handling not included. Allow six to 10 months for delivery. They seem to be like camouflage and sticks are natural in the environment. They float around in the water all the time. The fish did not mind them at all. They came up to it very easily. They were not hesitant and in fact seemed to work a little better than lures because they already could see the worm so there was nothing that else needed to attract them and what they did was they just ignored the stick because the sticks float around went right for the worm and i was able to catch like four of them on that when all day i was having troubles with catching fish so that worked out really well the rodless reel performed amazing 
It helps keep it from getting tangled. It's lightweight and compact. Can't say enough good things about it. I do recommend for the rodless rail that they add some kind of little like drawer or compartment where you could put the hook in and close it without it severing the line. And that way you could store it in your pocket without it coming unwound and without the hook getting stuck in your pants pocket. Cause that would just make things a lot easier when moving from fishing site to fishing site. Other than that though, the rodless rail worked really well. I'm happy to have it and it is going to be my main outdoors backpack. My main bushcraft bag will have that in it. And so I definitely recommend picking one of those up if you can. And yeah, the stick floaters worked out so well. I, I can't recommend those enough. They are quick, easy, tie the line around it and you're done. And yes, regular floaters work extremely well too. I use those all the time and will continue to do so. It's just nice to know that if you don't have one available for whatever reason, that you can just simply use a backup and have more primitive skills. Even if it's just tying a knot around a piece of wood, if it helps you get dinner. Until next time, keep moving.